everyone and welcome to another stream here on youtube.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. That's me, I'm Johnny Chiodini. I'm back, look. Here I am. Ta-da! Um, hi. Uh, thanks for your patience while I was away. I um, took a long overdue trip uh, with my, my partner to Seattle in the United States of America. And it was very, very nice. It was good. We didn't see a Sasquatch. But we ate lots of things and we wandered around. And uh, I got I got into baseball weirdly. Now I I really like baseball. I, I have a team and everything. It's very odd. I've become a sport liker. So do with that what you will. Anyway, um, hello everybody. It's very nice to see you all. Um, some absolute legends in chat. Um, but today we are going to be playing um, a little game called Venba. Um, what team says Lilac Rose? Seattle Mariners. I think they're great. Um, oh, Emma Benton says, I'm now also, I'm also now in Washington and I haven't seen a Sasquatch either, Johnny. It's okay. Washington's nice, it turns out. I hope the, the move went okay. Um, right, anyway, Venba today is game we playing will be. Uh, it is, um, it's kind of like a Desi cooking mama, I've been told. It's basically, it's a story about uh, a family that moves to, um... Uh, Canada in the 80s and you play as uh, the mother of this family and it's a game about cooking but also about family and community because um, you know they say like the kitchen is the heart of a home etc etc um, it looks beautiful and I am yeah very much looking forward to playing it it's also allegedly quite short so if we get through it there is another brief cooking centric game called The Supper, which my partner told me about this morning, actually, and was like, you should play this. And I was like, oh, well, that looks like the perfect thing to tack on to the end of Venba if the stream comes up short. So, uh, Elliot German says, this sounds lovely, but it's going to make me hungry. Yes, I think it's going to make all of us very hungry. Oh, Bruno0091 says, I did it in an hour. Oh, okay, all right. Well, with me blethering over the top, you can generally double the amount of time it takes to play a game. Uh, so, well, it'll probably be two, two hours, and then we'll play the supper, and then we'll sort of see. Ah, Ultimate Funk says, had a lovely chat with the maker of King of the Castle, King of the Castle at a party at the weekend. We both decided you are an excellent human, hurrah. Um, I actually got a message from Samuel saying that, uh, you had met and had a nice chat. Um, what a fun coincidence. Um, anyway, right, here we go. Anonymous says, do you have to go diving for ingredients? I hope so. I mean, we could always do some Dave the Diver later. We could just have, like, a, a, a three-game food-centric stream. Uh, we will see. But here we go. Venba! Ooh. The Venba bus is coming. Hopefully, the audio is a good mix. Let me know if it's too loud or too quiet. Think well before you dare, and never ruminate once in action. Manish Anand has done a super sticker of two fists going eh, eh, eh. One more time. Eh, eh, eh. Leaving already? Ayo, oh, sorry, did I wake you? What time is it? Thank you very much for the, the super sticker vanish, by the way. Eight. <laughs> nice, which says, those fists are murderous. <laughs> All right. How are you feeling? Are we tired or nauseous? Tired. I'm almost always tired. Just like yesterday. Ah. Okay, I'll call your school and say you can't come in today. I was just about to leave for work. You should go back to sleep. What about your lunch? There is some leftover Ildi batter and garlic chutney from yesterday. You can steam some Ildi's, uh, sorry, Idli's quickly. I don't know if I can figure all that out. It's okay. I was just about to leave. It's just idli. Idlis? 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 Very easy. 
It'll take me too long, Venba. Don't worry. Venba! But that's the name of the game! I can just survive on the coffee machine. <laughs> I'm just gonna get on top of the coffee machine and swipe people's lunch as they go past. Fine, I'll make it then, or okay. Fine, I'll make it then, because I want to do some cooking. Wait five minutes. Remember, really, it's fine. No, no, no. I need to make lunch for myself anyway. It's Idlees. Thank you, EA122. Just tell the school. I'll be done in a minute. Dot. 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 Okay. Coffee Cat says, I mean, yes. Is that not how you're supposed to get lunch? With a username like Coffee Cat, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised that you, you squat on top of the coffee machine and swipe people's food, but... But, uh, yeah, there you go. Joe Humbert says, Hi Johnny, I hope you and your partner had a good time in the States. Did you see anything you felt was interesting or really enjoyed? It was all good. We just wandered around. We ate some nice food. Uh, the Seattle Art Museum was lovely. We saw the original suit from Alien. Uh, in the Museum of Popular Culture. I got quite emotional seeing Harry Dean Stanton's hat from Alien. It was, it was nice. It was good fun. Okay, let's get this done fast. Although... Should I try my mother's recipe for once? Jukebox 345 says, ate a lot of bisque. I had, I had uh, bisque twice. Brian Shona, did you wind up going to the uh, Chihuly Glass Museum. No, uh, it was a little too expensive for us. Uh, I did have bisque. I had bisque twice. And so I had a lot of bisque. Uh, I had bisque in a bread bowl from Pike Place Market. Um, and then I had bisque in a normal bowl. And they were both good. Wraith Fines has done a super chat saying, Hi Johnny, welcome back. My, keeps trying to, my cats keep trying to convince me they need second breakfast. I suppose it's my fault for naming them after hobbits. Yeah, that they will um they will do that. Yeah. West Coast Weaver says good. Now we don't need to send you any. Exactly, yeah. I mean the the PO box seems to have broken. I need to go down there and, and knock some heads together because I haven't received anything in a very long time. It's possible though that the entire office just flooded with bisque, so um there we go. Should I try my mother's recipe for once? The way I make idlies are never as soft as hers. And they would always cheer me up when I'm feeling sick. I should just make them her way today. Hmm. If the recipe is still readable, that is. Uh-oh. Bloody hell. This is stylish, isn't it? Okay. Tools. Idly plate. Check. Towel. Check. Cooker. Check. Ingredients. Water. Batter. Holes to let steam through. These also have holes so batter can cook. Oh no, make sure to something it or it will leak. The holes on the plates is the only difference. The recipe also calls for towels. I'm not sure why. But Amma swears this method makes the idlis a lot softer. Okay. Uh, I want to look at the recipe again. Make sure to or it will leak. Oh no! Arrange plates so steam can cook batter properly. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, so we need some water. Let's put water in. Right? And then idli batter should go in the idli plate. Right, which we then put in, and then let's rotate it so that when we put the next one in, it'll do that, and then we'll put a towel. I don't think I should cover the batter with the towel. Okay. I should stack all... Oh, there are three plates. I should stack all three plates before closing the lid. Whoops-a-daisy. Uh, uh, uh. 
The music's so good already. Oh no. No, I need to take that plate off. <gasps> I've done it wrong, look. I should have rotated it before I put it on. Well, okay. So the steam's not going to go through properly there. I'm not sure how to do this hint. Hmm, this is hard. I think I can figure it out, though. Okay, I can't seem to take that plate back off. So we're just going to have to deal with that, I think. Unfortunately. Alright, let's see how it turns out. Oh, shit. Carry choices, I think, redo on top right corner. There's an undo button. Oh, well. I've done it now. Let's remove the lid and see how... It, it seems the batter leaked through the plate holes and spilt everywhere. Let's try again. Look at that. There's lots of towels. Right. David Burgess says you can read about all about the recipes. You can read about all the recipes in each level to give some background to the dishes. Nice. Make sure to towel it or it will leak. There we go. Okay. One. And then we'll give it a little rotate. Rotato the Plato. I'll tell you what I could have done there though. I'll tell you what I could have done. Could have put some water in there. Could have put some water in there. That would have been good. Good. Alright, we're getting there. Here's the plate. Rotate. Bungle Scud has. Uh, this is Bungle Scud's first ever super sticker, which has given a very jolly. Um, balloon background to what the sticker we commonly refer to as the blood pair. Um, basically the blood pair is um, if you just imagine a pear which is a piece of fruit that's wider at the bottom and smaller at the top and then put a little sports headband on it and then give it arms and legs and give it some little shoes as if it loves sports uh, and then give it a face and then animate it that's sort of the pair, uh, and then you just imagine that the the pair's got a mug, and it's delighted about it, and it keeps going hey and like thrusting it toward the camera. Um, but uh, the the mug itself is full of a fairly viscous red fluid. That I did say recently, yes, it could be wine, Coda Blair. It could be could be wine. More commonly, we refer to it as the blood pair because it looks like blood. So that's sort of where we are with with the uh, the old the, that sticker. Thank you very much for your first ever super sticker. Congratulations! Um, let's see if I've done it right this time. Let's see. Those are the holes are aligned. They're toweled so they don't leak through the holes. There's water in there. That's good. Let's try. Let's see how it turns out. Piper Barn says, Who puts wine in a mug? It's totally blood. <laughs> I used to drink wine out of mugs. So we've never had wine glasses. So I didn't trust myself not, not to break them. Uh, Aiden has done a super sticker of it, the pair, but the pair doesn't have a mug anymore. Uh, and frankly, it seems stoned out of its gourd. He's kind of just swaying back and forth with one arm sort of limp. And the other one up there, like, and the text says, cool. So there you go. That should be long enough. Let's remove the lid and see how it turned out. Ah, it's done. Nailed it. Our husband's going to be so late for work. Oh, so tired, so sleepy. Invisible Goats has done a super chat saying, wine is just old grape blood, which is surely still messed up from another fruit. Fair, yeah. Oh look, they've got little faces. Oh wow, you even took the time to make our faces. I think you forgot about my beard though. You really didn't have to do this. She looks so unimpressed right now. William Maguire says, can you get drunk from a drunk person's blood? I would say probably not. 
the um, the amount you would need would be astronomical, and your body would reject it, and you would throw it up long before then. Uh, but thank you for the um, the <laughs> disturbing question. Um, Algy Ryan says that hair is saying so much. It really is. What else could I do? My husband can't figure out idlies. Oof. Then, but I told you to go to sleep. You've been feeling sick and exhausted. <gasps> Pignat? You didn't have to cook. It's not a big deal if I skip lunch once. On top of the coffee machine, snatching food. Pavalan. You're making me choose between resting and letting you starve. That's not a fair choice to me. You're not letting me starve. I know, but that's what it feels like. Hmm. Dr. Brangar says you definitely cannot. Even stupidly drunk people have a BAC of a percent, blood alcohol content of a percent, and drinking blood will make you vomit. There you go. <laughs> Invisible Goat says, throw the whole husband away! And even if, and even if I had let you leave, I couldn't sleep peacefully. Well, what will I do for that? I couldn't sleep peacefully. I'd feel too guilty. I know I shouldn't, but you know I would. Is it so hard for you to cook, even on days like this? Dot a dot a dot. You're right. Sorry. Damn right you're right. Sorry. Hmm. Did you look for tickets back home? Yes, it's expensive, but we can manage it. So, do you think we should go? I don't know. Let me ask the boss again if he can make me full time. But unless the school gives you more shifts, or my boss changes his mind, it's going to be tough to stay in Canada. You know there are other options, but I wouldn't mind going back. I'm sure I can teach again at my old job. And there's nothing really keeping us here. Yet. That would be nice. Okay. Well, why don't you leave with me now? I'll walk you to the doctor's office before I go to work. Pignat. Uh, Josh Langton has done a super sticker of a Shiba Inu that's having a great time. Oh, this is Josh Langton's first ever super sticker. So there are balloons and a one behind the Shibrino. So it looks like the, the Shibrino is at a first birthday party. Anyway, it's kind of doing like this and shaking its little butt, which is kind of nice. And hearts are popping out of its butt. It's just farting hearts. There you go. <laughs> nice, nice witch. I'm sorry you think the pair is a friend, but don't take it out on the Shiba Inu. Come on. <laughs> right, okay, anyway. I'll walk you to the doctor's office before I go to work. Oh no, I'm sure all I need is some sleep. Well, you're not going to get much sleep after you have a baby. You've been saying that for two days now. Come on, I'll walk you. Doctors are free here. Oh. Oh. The towel is key, you see. <laughs> Oh, she still looks tired, but she looks very nice. Vember, are you home? What did the doctor say? So the boss didn't even consider it. Unless a miracle happens, I say we start packing. Well, have you heard of the miracle of childbirth? What? What's with you? You never told me what the doctor said. 
Well, I think you should eat first. Aiden says she didn't have enough batter because you wasted it. I'm sorry, Aiden. I didn't know. Um, it's it's a, a hat trick. It's it's our third first ever super sticker of uh, the stream. A Uglaseth, Oogl I've said that right, uh, has done a super sticker. So it's got like um, balloons and a one, uh, but it's a slice of pie, which is nice. Pie's good. I like pies. I'm more fond of savoury pies than sweet pies, but I wouldn't say no to some sweet pie either. Invisible Goat says, is that sticker husband pie? <laughs> uh, well, I think you should eat first. Uh, okay. Idlis again? Ah! What has gotten into you today? <gasps> Three faces! Three faces! Whoop! Little baby! Little baby. Oh, he looks... So I guess this means we have a reason to stay. I mean, raising a child back home wouldn't be so bad either. But there's a chance at a very different life here. It's only going to get more expensive though, and we're barely scraping by as it is. You okay, buddy? It's starting to feel like the end of an episode of Scrubs. Luke Gray's done a super sticker of the Shiba Inu. Uh, the Shiba Inu's kind of like this, as if it's going to fight, but then it goes like, hey, as if to say, hooray, she's having a baby. Okay. <laughs> Remus says, small steamed baby. <laughs> okay. We can't provide everything other parents would be able to. What if they resent us for that when they grow up? Maybe moving back to India is the best option after all. But then they could resent us for taking away this opportunity. He's really assuming this kid's going to be a dick. Arian's done a super sticker of... Okay, so we've talked about the pair. Uh, if you're new to this, this whole stream thing, you may not be aware of the lemon person or the lime child. It's just... A, we have a weird cast of characters here in chat. Um, if, if you imagine... A lemon became someone's head and then their body became sort of the same lemony color and they had a leaf on their head um, and they they had a, a, a face and arms and they were using those arms to lift up a small lime which has the, confusing the lime is not just the head it's the head and the body of the lime child and it's got little nubby arms and legs so imagine that the lemon is lifting up the ba the babby lime as if to say look a child Oh, I understand what you're doing now. Uh, there's, the lemon person is lifting up the lime child uh, with a look of wonder on their face, which is very sweet. Okay. Garina Rain says, I think the husband is in panic mode. I agree. <laughs> hmm. What do you think, Venba? Why aren't you saying anything? I don't know. It's funny to see you worry like this. Bang! Stephen Hoy says, I feel like joining late has made me miss context because husband is reading more anxious than crappy to me. Yeah, I mean, he was like, he was a bit like, oh, I don't know how to cook for myself earlier. And she was like, come on, I'm, I'm feeling shitty and I had to get up and cook for you because you can't work it out. But he said sorry. Like, I don't think he's trash. I think we've found, we found many worse husbands in video games. But anyway, she's saying it's funny to see you worry like this. Are you not worried? I don't know. I feel very calm for some reason. That makes one of us. Pavalan, don't worry. I'm sure they will turn out just fine. How can you be so sure? It's our child. 
How else could they turn out? Mm. How else could they turn out, rather? More. <laughs> Arian says, I was watching the unpacking vods, and yes, there's worse partners. Being outshone by one's children is a universally desired form of sweet defeat. It's six years later. It's 1994. And they're still in Canada. My name is Pavelan, sir. Pavelan, sir. Kevin. She still looks a bit tired. Where did you run off to? Sir, it would be my privilege to work with you. Pardon me, sir. I don't have time to play, Kevin. Emma Benton says, oh, the year I was born. I'm so old. <laughs> I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> Cheerful Spider says, sick, time to watch some gargoyles. Yes, sir, I've managed transport of hundreds of units of inventory per day. Pardon me, sir? Kevin, there you are. What are you wearing? Where's your shirt? It's a cape. Take that off. Let's get you dressed. No, I like it. Oh, wow. Brandon Hart's done an absolutely massive super chat. Thank you very much, Brandon. That's really generous of you. Um, and I very much appreciate it. Uh, Brandon says, just glad to have a lovely stream after a rather stressful weekend. So here are some good vibes and love to you all. And hopefully some extra treats for Watson. I'm sorry you had a stressful weekend, Brandon. But I'm very glad I can be here to... Um, uh, Oh, we can't see the kid's voice. I'll move my face. Uh, very glad that I can be here to help alleviate some of that stress. Um, and, yeah, thank you again for a really generous super chat. That's really lovely of you. Um, oh, everyone's sharing what age they were in 1994, and it feels weird. And cause so many of you did not exist. Um, did, 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 did it? Corvus Albright has done a super chat saying, Inconvenience haiku for inconvenience haiku time. So many meetings. Capitalism buzzkill. It hushes my buzz. Suppose it does. Yeah. <laughs> Will says, I was a mere 75 years old. I forgot you're um, a descendant of Numenor. Right. That job was in India, sir, but... Kevin, wait there, don't run. He is wearing a cape. Kevin, come back here. This has become a routine now. Yes, sir. Bachelor of Science in Physics, sir. Ayo, that towel is so dirty, da. Here, wear this shirt, can I? No! But, sir, you can just take me on a probation period, maybe. I'm driven, self-started, and a quick learner, sir. Put this on, Kanna. Hurry up now. But I don't want to. I like that his uh, speech bubbles are, like, all greasy and, like, um, like, dirty. Speak in Tamil, Kevin. I can't even understand what you're saying. You don't have to pay until then. Please, can I? I understand, sir. Oh, Bruno says, yellow text is speaking in English, white is Tamil. Understood. Yes, good boy. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for considering me. Good day. Oh, he looks sad. He's in a shirt now. Hello, Mr. Bachelor of Science. What happened? Same old. They didn't buy the hundreds of units inventory story, or I'm telling you it's time for it to go. Let's do this one. They didn't buy the hundreds of units. That's not entirely untrue. I helped out in a grocery store when I was 12. And you were paid in candy. Ah, well, I've only worked as a writer back home. I don't see myself getting a job for that here. 
Not with my English. I spend half these calls asking them to repeat themselves. I should watch cartoons with Kevin. If I can understand those shows, maybe I can understand these people too. Emma Benton says, listen, everyone lies on their resume. Right, exactly. Yay! We can watch Batman together, Appa. He said in English. Yes, but your son is going to forget Tamil at this rate. Did you know his friends call him Kevin? What's wrong with that? Speak in Tamil, da. Well, what's wrong with that? Cat from the Kong says, Funny that you're playing a game about family on the day my family is visiting. Oh, I hope you're having a lovely time with them. I hope it's a very nice visit. It's only one letter that's different anyways. That's why we picked it, or names tell stories. Names tell stories. Octo-chan says, this is very real as a second generation Chinese Canadian. Ah. It's a way for people to learn about you and where you're from. You shouldn't be afraid to correct your friends. It's your name, after all. Who else is going to tell them? And Kevin means beautiful. It's such a lovely name and it suits you so well. I don't want to be beautiful. I want, I just want to be Kevin. Dot, dot, dot. He's brighter than us, Vember. He's learned to adapt. We haven't. You know he aced yesterday's English quiz. He did? Really? Good job. We should celebrate, Dakana. What do you want to eat? I'll make something special. Oh! Can we order pizza? No! Speak in Tamil, Kevin. I want pizza. How about we make something at home? Rather than saying, how about something better? Because, you know, pizza can be important to him. And pizza can be important. You know? Mr. Tom for the win says, names tell stories. I was named after my auntie's cat that had just passed away. Great story. Thanks, Mum. Please tell me you're being serious, Mr. Tom for the win. Freya says, names tell stories. Oof, this is getting me in the childhood feels. Uh, obviously, I don't have the... the um, I don't have the, the, the context for like a story like this. I, you know, uh, I'm... Th Third generation, so um, we'd you know we'd already fully assimilated into like British life by the time I came along. Um, but I yeah I've heard some people saying that this is like really well done. Right, how about we make something at home, like parotta, dosa, idiapam, ghee dosa. Mm. Biryani? Curry dosa? Dad likes dosa. You heard it here first, everyone. No, I'm tired of all these. I said I want pizza. Extra cheese. Extra toppings. You eat pizza all the time. Kevin, have you ever had puttu? No. What's that? Well, I've only seen my mother make it before. It's a lot of fun to make. Reminds me of a rocket. Hell yeah. Rocket? Yes, a lot of steam comes out when you make it. It looks just like a rocket launching. It does? Yes. But you know what? Let's just order pizza. There's no rocket, but you get a nice cardboard box. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> She's got him. Will it really look like a rocket launch? Dot, dot, dot. Do you want to see? <laughs> I hope I don't fuck this up. Okay. Way. All right, let's get started. Oh, look, he drew, he drew all of them. They're on the fridge. Dad, Mom, me. And he also drew some sort of Godzilla. Um, and they've got a fridge magnet, presumably from Niagara Falls. Alright, let's get started. 
Ella Benton says, played him like a fiddle. Will says, haha, get wrecked, kid. <laughs> I haven't made this before, but Amma has a recipe on it. Hopefully it's readable. Where's the rocket? We need to make the flower first, da. Okay. Yes, cooking radio! Tegan Evans says, hopefully the dad can cook enough to help by now. Oh, come on, leave him be. Right. Putu flour. Ingredients, 500 grams of rice and some water. Blend 500 grams of rice. Separate fine rice from chunks. Uh, step three is... Separate fine rice from chunks, sure. Stir the chunks over crying will one. Okay. <laughs> Step three chunks. Okay, well, alright. Let's make some flour. When do we get to the rocket part? Soon, Dad. Be patient. Really enjoying this music. I should shake the sieve over the towel to catch everything. Oh, oh no! Okay, now. Is that a chunk? I can't tell. Some of these chunks are stubborn. Sure, why not? And then blend with water. I think this is perfect. Why does this feel like flour even though there was so much water? We have to mix the water and flour little by little. Uh oh. The final consistency consistency should feel like slightly wet sand. <gasps> Complete one recipe without messing up. Yes! Alright, that wasn't too hard. Amma, when will we get to the rocket? We've really sold this rocket. Ooh, this looks cool. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Put coconut layers as far away from each other as possible. Okay, so the darker layers are coconut. It's gotta be. All right, this is straightforward. Assemble the parts so that water steams and cooks what's above. The tricky part is figuring out how much rice and coconut is needed, and in what order coconut can crumble easily. Water goes in the little guy, putu kettle. The mold, the mold goes on top. Then we need, I reckon that's coconut. One. Two. Oh no, those are layers. Oh shit. Okay. Ow. Ba -ba -ba -ba. 
I'm just curious because it says three tablespoons here, and then it says four tablespoons here. Hmm. Let's just see. That's... No, because look. Yeah, no. Okay. Good. Good to good to be sure about these things. Okay, so we want coconut. Then we want flour, flour. Then we want coconut. Then we. Oopsie. Ah, oh, fuck. Sorry, everyone. Okay. Coconut. Flour. Flour. Coconut. Look at the colours, Johnny, you, you daft bastard. <laughs> Look at the colours. Okay. Alright, we're gonna get there. So. The darker one. Putty flower. Then. Coconut. Coconut. Putty flower. Coconut. Coconut. Putty flower. Lid. Let's try it. Gully Woolly says that's a lot of coconut. I know, I'm a bit confused. We should turn this on after everything is ready. Oh, yes, I suppose putting it on the heat source would have been a good idea. It's launch time, Kevin! Launch a crumbling putty. Ow. Hmm. Remember, I think coconut layers make it crumble. Yes, the book says to keep the coconut layers as far apart as possible. The only way I can see that working is if we put the coconut in first. Like that? It's launch time, Kevin! <laughs> Fuck you, coconut! Wow! Successfully launch putty. That was so cool! Remember, I can't believe it didn't fall. Thanks so much, my supportive husband. Emma, can we do that again? Ooh, ooh, what's it with? What's it? Um, uh. We are unable to offer you your our secondary teacher position at this time. However, we encourage you to apply again next year. Mm -mm. Oh, she's worried. Is he asleep? Can't, be can't believe I was doing it right and then that just changed it. Right. I think so. Kevin? No, never ever have a conversation in a room where you think the child is sleeping. Because what if they have to... What if they're then pretending to be asleep and they hear all the worrying stuff? Good. So that interview. Another dead end? Yes. I think I knew that before I took the call. No relevant Canadian work experience. We'll keep you on file. I don't know. I feel like I deluded us into thinking we can make it work here. No, you wanted to give your child a, a, like a, a, an opportunity. Dust, dust, dust. Well, don't worry. I'll go to the employment office again tomorrow. Dot, dot, dot. What? I know you don't like Suresh, but I think you should take that sales job at his company. It's all about who you know here. It's probably better than we really are at the end of our rope. It's all about who you know here. 
Oh, this is a sad. And we barely know anyone. We're not in a position to pick and choose our help. Dot, dot, dot. I thought moving here would be a chance to start over. That even here we have to beg people like Suresh. It's not begging. I know. That child is not asleep. I'll call him tomorrow. West Coast Weaver says this is sadly realistic. Too many skilled workers struggle to find work because they don't have experience in Canada. Ah. That sucks. Thank you, she says. But honestly, I think you're more qualified for sales than I am. I mean, the way you sold Cavin on the Putu today. You're really good with kids. <laughs> I can't believe you're having a hard time teaching in school. Well, it's not like teaching back home. It makes me worry about Cavin. Why? Well, back home, I could get the class to laugh, open up, get them in the mood to learn, you know. But it's harder here. What does that have to do with Cavin? I just feel like there's a wall between me and my class. Hmm. I can't connect with them. They lead very different lives than we did. And I feel that same wall growing around Cavin. No. How do you mean? What if I can't connect with Cavin? It just feels like he's growing further away from us. It's kinder than it's so hard to even talk to him. Amaya Kane has done a super chat, saying, I'm glad you're back, Johnny. I hope you had a lovely vacation slash honeymoon. I have to catch you on VOD because of work, but I'm excited to watch later. This seems like an incredible game. It's lovely. Really enjoying it so far. Um, I'm enjoying the cooking a lot, and I hope there's... A lot more to come. Obviously the story is also very good and very touching, but cooking, it's um it's uh it's very rewarding. But also like um it's just like cool to learn. I didn't know what, what uh Pussy was, so it's cool to sort of see that and sort of like have a go at making it. Even though obviously I'm just doing it in a video game, but still. Uh but yeah. Um and thank you, the 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 sort of a much delayed honeymoon was bloody lovely. I think we're both missing it a little bit. It's lovely to be back home and see the dog and everything, but we're also a bit like... I liked it when we were walking around Seattle eating whatever we wanted, but... So things go. Uh, right, it just feels like he's growing further away from us. The other day he told me he wishes he had his own room like his friends. He said he needs his privacy. What five-year-old needs privacy? Can you even imagine asking for something like that when you were a kid? It's like he's in a different world than us. He kind of is. Dot, dot, dot. Well, it's more than just that. He doesn't eat lunch at school. He's not interested in anything we do. The interest one, I guess? I thought I could at least get him to listen to music or watch some movies from back home. But he'd rather watch Home Alone for the hundredth time. It is a banger, in fairness. I don't know, I'm worried. These things bother me too. But we chose to bring him up here. Not, not him. Oh, but we chose to bring him up here. Not him. Okay, understood. <laughs> who MD21 says not eating lunch is just like his father <laughs> we did it because we thought he'd have a better life here and he does this place comes with better education and opportunities but it also comes with its own culture language, values we can't pick and choose the ones we want and ask him to ignore from the others I think it's natural that any kid wants to fit in right? Dot, dot, dot. Yes, maybe. It's just scary. Don't worry, Venba. He'll turn out just fine. How are you so sure? He's our child. Oh, it's like an inversion of the original conversation they had when... Um... Uh... With the, 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 when he was really worried and she was like, he's our child, he'll be fine. You know? Hmm. How else will he turn out? Eh? Eh? 
Adam Schofield says, what did I miss? Well, it's 1994 and money is tight. But I think actually it's going to be further than that. Those fallen from their resolver stripped of respect, like hair fallen from the head. It's 1995 now. Um, we're still in Canada. Money's Money has been very tight. Go on. Tell her. His name is Pavelan. He's my dad. P. A. A. V. A. L. A. N. She says Appa is not at the office. Does she know what time he left? Do you know when my dad left the office? Okay, well, does she at least know if he came in today? Uh-oh. Did you see my dad today? Yes. Ask her if he usually leaves with anybody. Mm, not sure about this. Maybe we can call them? Does he usually go home with someone? Stephen Hoy says, I don't like that the music has stopped. Yeah, it doesn't feel great. She says no, Dad usually leaves alone and he's very quiet. Take care, Will. Um, I will catch you soon. She says all the sales staff left at 5pm today. She says he must have left then too. Okay, thank you. Oh, Gabrica says, I think the spot's on the kid's speech bubbler when she can't understand him. Yeah, that makes sense. Why are we walking through the park, Emma? Do you think Appa will be here? I don't know, Kanna. Sometimes your Appa loves to walk instead of taking the bus. If he decided to walk home from the office, it should be through here. But the lady said Appa left at five. What's taking him so long? Do you think he went somewhere else first? But where would he go for this long? I don't know, Kevin. Enough with your questions. Sorry, Kanna. I'm just worried about Appa. Why are you worried? Do you think something happened to him? No, no, I'm sure he's fine. You don't have to stay quiet, Kevin. Here you can ask me anything you want. She just said enough with the questions, but okay. Anything? Yes, and I'll answer it. But only if you can ask it in Tamil. <laughs> okay. Ooh, okay, I can do that. Ahem. Okay. Okay, I can do that. Why did that lady say that Appa is very quiet? He talks a lot at home. Oh, look at you go. See, you can speak Tamil when you want to. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's that they don't talk to him. What do you mean? Ah, nothing. He doesn't really like his job, Kevin. Maybe that's why. Cameron Murray has done a super chat saying, Hey Johnny, got work soon, but wanted to say I love your videos and they have helped me through some tough time over the years. Thank you for all you do. Oh, thank you, Cameron. That's a really lovely super chat. Um, I, um, I'm glad people enjoy the videos and that they, they help. Um, it's nice. Because, like, I, you know, there are YouTube channels I go to and watch when I'm, like, I need to just zone out for a bit. Um, and, it, you know, it's I find it really helpful and it means a lot to me. So I'm glad that I can provide that for other people. Uh, and I hope work goes very well. Um, I hope you have uh, a good time. Right. He was a writer back home, right? Did he like his job then? Oh yes, he loved to write. How come I never see him write at home? 
Well, he always writes when something bothers him. Back home, that used to be every day. Maybe you should bug him more. So how did you and Appa meet, or what did you do back home? What did you do back home? Same as here, I was a teacher. And not just a supply teacher, I was taught math for 9 to 12th standard. Were you a cool teacher? What's a cool teacher? Fun and easy going. Like, were the kids scared of you? Only kids named Kevin. <laughs> I don't know, I like to think I was good at it. My classes were always fun for the students. Though I don't think I'm a cool teacher here. I miss those days. But you teach here too. It's not the same. Why not? I don't know. It's just not. Argy Ryan says, oh wow, that's pretty advanced math. Algebra, trigonometry, intro to calculus. Bloody hell. Why did you move here? It wasn't an easy choice. Pavelan wanted to be with me. And I couldn't imagine being with anyone else. But a lot of people took issue with us being together. And they decided to make it our problem. It was getting really hard to deal with it, so we gambled on a fresh start here and took it. Amma, I see Appa. Spelt his name on his on his badge. Well, he's okay. Like he's not dead. Oh dear. Oh, he's writing. He's writing, that's good. Oh, that threw me for a loop. Um, Fergus Watson has done a super chat saying, I had a weird dream, no, sorry, no, nothing no matter how dear should be sought at the expense of one's honor. It's 2006, everybody. Oh, look, he's all grown up. Um, Fergus Watson has done a super chat. Oh, look at us! <gasps> He's still got the same glasses. He's just got tape on them. What if his prescriptions changed? Anyway, it doesn't matter. But they've got grey in their hairs. Oh, no, they're, getting, oh, they're getting older. Um, Fergus Watson has done a super chat saying, I had a weird dream the other night that I met Johnny on a beach while on holiday. It was unspeakably awkward for both of us. Have some money. <laughs> <laughs> that really tickled me. Thank you, Fergus. I'm sorry it was so awkward. That's probably my fault. Bloody hell. <laughs> that really made me, that really made me giggle. Argy Ryan says, Oh, I just realised Kevin and I are the same age, lol. Same. I was born the same year. Ah. <sighs> Anyway, oh, okay, I just finished cutting up the onions too. I think you should have everything you need. He's helping! Samario so Suni says, 2006, I am four. I am a baby child. Oh. Yes, thanks, Pa. 
I've got to help Kevin pack. Oh! Oh! Cooking! It's fucking... Yes, 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 yes! Look at this! Okay, holy shit. Biryani gravy. Oh, God! This recipe is completely unreadable. Layered biryani is really fancy. I've never made it that way before. But I've seen Amma make it the night before we left India. Maybe I can try remembering them. Remember, add all these first. Yeah, so you... These ingredients, so expensive. Emma, why are you going through all the, this trouble? It's okay, Dee. It's a big thing to leave to another country. This is cool. I don't know when I'll be able to cook for you again. Oh. Remember, add all these first. Okay. Right, so yeah, you, you fry your spices first. So that was the cardamom, the bay leaves, the fennel seeds and the cloves. I don't see the powdered spices, but... Marinated beef! Now the beef goes in after we add all the salt and powders. That order is important. Then add water and let it reduce. Ah, how am I going to remember all of this? Don't worry, I've added all these instructions to the recipe book I gave you. The music in this game is fucking great. There's a logic to the order you add these four ingredients in. You want all of them to fry in the oil nicely, but the ingredient you add first will always fry more in the oil than the one you add next. Right, so if I want onions to turn golden brown, they need to be fried the most. And remember, once you add tomatoes, they release so much water, it's hard for anything to fry after. Okay, so... We'll go onions... Ginger, garlic paste, chilies, tomatoes. That's quite wet as well, though. All right, I think I've got this. Because, right, the beef goes in last after the salt and powders. Okay. Okay. So, here we go. Bay leaves. Seeds. I can never get tired of how great toasted whole spices smell. Yeah, it smells great. Amma, I wish you could see how much these cost here. You would lose your mind over these prices. Okay, then we go onions. Ginger garlic paste. Chilies. Tomatoes. And then we... You went through a lot of trouble for the recipe book, Emma. I'm sorry I couldn't take better care of it. But I'm fixing these now and I hope Kevin can appreciate it when he cooks these. If he ever does. Salt. Powders. Give that a minute. Marinated beef. And then water. Ah, this smells divine. It looks so good. I think we just need to let it simmer for 30 minutes and we can start the layering. Gravy is done. All that's left is the biryani. I hope I can finish it before Kevin leaves. Oh. So Mario Suni says, if anyone's interested in learning Tamil, get ready for three different N sounds and three different R sounds. Oh, wow. <laughs> this looks so good. Okay. One, two, one, two, three. At least the second part is salvageable. I think the idea is to put everything in the pot, seal tightly, and let it simmer together. The one, two, three might refer to the different layers of gravy, rice, and other things. But in what order? Maybe I can try to remember. Ah, I see. We just add all of these together on top of the rice layer. And that's the final layer? Yes. What's wrong, Amma? Oh, Amma, why are you crying? 
Oh. Stephen Hoy says, this is reminding me that I've had the family curry recipe written down for years, but never had the courage to try. Go for it, Stephen. I mean, the worst that's going to happen is you're going to make something that's not as good as you remember, but... On your own, at least. Go for it, Stephen. Give it a go. Like, if you if you don't do it right, you've not destroyed the recipe. You've not let anyone down. Sometimes it takes a few swings at a recipe to get it right, you know? Although I remember one time uh, I was cooking. My my parents were around and I was, I was cooking dinner and um, we were just having a chat. And then at one point, like, my mum was talking to me. I was making a, I was just making like a ragu. And my mum just mid-sentence went, you've changed my recipe. And I was like, oh, <laughs> yes. Made the recipe better if you ask me. Anyway. Okay. You know we'll visit often, and once things are better, we'll come back here. This is our home. Where else will we go? Oh. I know, Kana. It's just so far away. Okay. So the top layer is all of that stuff. So that looked like the cilantro and the fried onions. I don't see the... Oh, is that a cashew? I'm not sure. This is tricky. Um... One, two, one, two, three. Okay. That's saffron milk, mint, fried onions, cilantro, ghee, cashews. Types of biryanis. Biryanis are so fun to make and can be made in so many different ways. Every state in India has its own biryani and they all swear it's the best. Amma always loved the uh, Hyderabadi biryani I'm making today. So, one, two, one, two, three. I'm going to say it's, it, we go rice. Wait. No, wait. Oh, but I've only got the one bowl, so one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Okay, so it goes one, two, one, two, and then three. I think this is right. Okay. Jay Appleseed has done a super chat saying, Pig tax! No idea why I was surprised to see this stream, but good to see you. And I was so glad to see you still alive-ish. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad to be alive-ish too. Thanks. Um, thank you very much for the, the uh, super chat and for the pig tax. Um, Piggle's doing really well at the minute. Uh, she was very well behaved while we were away. We got her uh, new toy. It's a cuddly toy salmon with a squeaker. Uh, which she went absolutely bananas for. Um, she's in generally in good spirits. Anyway, I think this is right. I just have to cover it with the lid now. Okay, I think this is it. What I really like is that she's... Like, she's trying to get her son to connect with his Tamil roots. But she's having to patch bits of it together because... Like, she's not really... You know, she hasn't made these recipes before. And she's lost parts of the um, the recipes and stuff it's kind of like it's an interesting reflection on how like culture survived through like nurturing and, and making efforts to preserve them almost it's like it's like she's she's strengthening her her connection to that culture while trying to instill it in her son at the same time I think it's cool it's nice right okay I think this is it Freya says it's a journey they're taking together. Yeah, exactly. Like my um, my dad once took me on a, a tour of um, Clerkenwell in London, um, which is where like the Italian community used to be like at its strongest, and it's where my great grandfather moved to when he fled Italy when Mussolini came to power. And he showed me all of these different places. Like he showed me the church my grandparents got married in, showed me the church my great no my my grandfather was like an altar boy in, and like. Uh, these social clubs that you know they used to sort of like hang out in it was really really interesting um, 
and he'd never done it as like one contingent like con like one just one tour of all of these places um and it was really weird because i you know i've lived in london most of my life now and i used to work in clerkenwell i used to work on the grazing Rose, which was like two minutes away from the the house or the flat my great-grandfather moved to when he moved to to London from Italy and I never knew and it's really weird when I mean, you have to sort of dig that stuff up but hmm ah oh. okie dokie I, okay I think this is it just need to keep the flame very low and let it all cook together the rice will fully absorb all the moisture from the gravy deeply flavouring it I can't wait dot 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 should be good now Looks amazing. Oh my god, that looks so good. Nailed it. Family beef. Successfully made the biryani. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Look at him. Look at him all grown up. How is it? Oh, so good. Oh. They're eating, like, he's eating with his hands, whereas Kevan is eating with a spoon. Beef really is the best. Nice Witch says, love to make a curry and just stare at the pot until it's cooked. I know you're doing a bit, but that is absolutely me when I'm cooking. I cannot leave it alone. I just, I hang out in the kitchen until it's done. Doesn't matter if it's stewing for hours and hours and hours. I will just stay in the room. Oh. It's really good, Emma. I'm glad. I won't get many chances to cook for you like this again. Oh, nice which says, no, that's genuinely how I cook too. Ha ha ha. I'm at one with the food. <laughs> yeah. In my, um, my, like, the old flat I used to live in, if someone was in the kitchen, the kitchen was full. So sometimes I'd be making these, these meals that would take hours, like, for my flatmates and stuff, uh, and I'd get bored, so I'd take a guitar in with me. <laughs> I'd just be playing guitar and occasionally stirring. It's good fun. Um, Hal9000 Hal9000 has done a super chat saying my first live stream I usually can't catch you because of time zones it's 8am here in southeast Alaska good morning good morning to you Hal I hope southeast Alaska is treating you very nicely um, I know very little about southeast Alaska but uh, I do know that it's 8am so um, uh, I, I hope you slept well I hope you're having some some coffee or whatever it is you use to wake up in the morning. Um, Sylvius James says, guitar stream when? Oh, never. It's like the one thing I have, the one hobby I have that I haven't monetized. Um, and I like to keep it that way. I like to just, like, um, just play guitar and just, like, cover some songs that I like um, every now and then. Um, I think it's important to keep at least one thing back. Right, I won't get many chances to cook for you like this again. Ah, uh, Emma! Stop being so dramatic! I'm just moving out for university. Yes, Kanna, but we will miss you. Have you packed everything? It's a long drive. We might have to get gas on the way. <laughs> Freya says you don't want to be that one guy who brought a guitar to a house party. I hate those people so much. Um, I, I'm hoping, because... Obviously, at the end of the last chapter, it was quite an intense note, but he was writing. I hope that they're doing really well now because he's been writing. Do you know what I mean? Oof, dear. Chunky Whippet says, Hi, Johnny. I recently finished a 77-hour work week. Night shifts are fun. I've been watching and re-watching your stream, so thank you very much for keeping me sane. Good job finishing that um, that work week. That is... Oh, that's, that's too many hours in a week. <laughs> that's a lot. Um... I sincerely hope you get some some rest, um, and uh, I think you're doing all right. Argya says he would have been writing in Tamil, I imagine. Yeah, but you know it could have sold. I don't know. And the eccentric lefty says they also have apparently a car now. Yeah, they they seem to be doing all right. They seem to be happier. Anyway, it's a long drive. We might have to get gas on the way. Oh, as it turns out, my friends are driving there today after all. So I'll be going with them. Kevin. Oh. This way you and Appa won't have to drive all day. 
We wanted to see the university? Yeah. I thought it'd be nice to see all the classrooms and buildings. You can give us a tour. It's not a hassle at all for us to drive you. We'd love to. We'd love to. It's just more convenient. There's nothing to tour, really. Just a bunch of grey buildings. Okay, Kana, sure. Mwah. Did I even get any of the meat pieces? <laughs> Dad. Ah, uh, maybe we can drive there next week. Drop off some food. Oh, I almost forgot. Will your friend's car have enough space for some containers? Please don't fuck this up, Kevin. Please don't fuck this up. I don't know. Why? I packed a lot more of the biryani. I also packed some podies, pickles, and sweets. Did she give all the pieces to Kevin? <laughs> to Kevin? Sorry, Kevin. I'm, I can't take that in the car. Why not? I have packs for your friends too. You can all eat. Amma, they don't want biryani. And the whole car will smell. I don't want them in my dorm either. You don't want any of it? Kevin, I put a lot of effort into making all of it this week. I didn't ask you to. That's not the point. Sometimes it's for the parents. Why are you getting mad? I know you didn't ask. But what will you even eat there? Mm, fucking pizza, probably. Uh, uh, Amelia Bank has done a super chat saying, First ever super chat. Hey, Johnny and LSPs, thanks for being so lovely and welcoming. I've recently discovered I'm ace, and I love the safe space that uh, is you and the Skelly Pals are. Um, well, hey, congrats on... You know the realization and and coming out. I hope um, I hope it's been really euphoric for you. Um, and thank you so much for the first ever super chat. That's really lovely. And yeah, the you know what the lovely scally pals are pretty nice. They're pretty decent. Um, so I'm glad that you've you've sort of you know you found the community and that you're enjoying it. Bruno0091 says, like I get it at that age. He just wants to fit in. You're not thinking about your parents' feelings. Yeah, I know it's difficult. But anyway, what do you even eat there? I don't know. There are cafeterias, instant noodles, whatever. I'll figure it out. I can't believe she gave him all the pieces. <laughs> well, you're going to get plenty of pieces now. I'm just eating Kuska here. That's not healthy, Kevin. You can't eat out every day. Literally everyone there will be doing that. I'm just trying to be helpful. Well, you're not. Why don't you just take some of it? You don't have to eat it. I said, no, Amma. I'm done with this. This is a fresh start for me. I don't want to smell like Little India anymore. Mm. Oofed. Oh, all of the eating noises have stopped. Mr. Fox has done a super chat saying, Dad is me. Totally checked out of the conversation. Just thinking of food. <laughs> Oh, I just want to be normal for once. Kana, the language you speak, the food you eat, the clothes you wear, only you should decide that, Kevin. You don't have to change who you are for us, but just be sure you're not changing who you are for anyone else either. Yes, Dad! There's a wonderful and beauti beautiful culture that's a part of you. It would be a shame if you chose not to be a part of it. Elizabeth Rukowski's done a super chat saying, You've done streams on murder, cannibalism and British food. This might be the first stream I need to nope from for being too heavy. It's, it's packing a punch, isn't it? It's pretty hardcore. Just because you think it's not normal. Then why did we even move here? We should have just stayed in India. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yell. It's just, there's no need to create a fuss over any of this. It's not like you're never going to see me again. I'll visit often, okay? Okay. And I'll call every week, too. 
so please try not to worry. Tegan Evans says, to be fair to them though, he's only acting like this because other people are assholes to him. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Elizabeth Rakowski just says, long egg. <laughs> oh god, yeah, the long egg. <laughs> oh no, I'm so sorry about the long egg. <laughs> Uh, I should call Joe Scrabbles. See how he's doing. <laughs> right. Okay. Oh, that's tough. That's difficult. Chris Rakowski has done a super chat saying, That little India comment, that kid has been bullied his whole life. Yeah. Is that them? Yes, I think so. Who is that girl? I've never seen her before. Smart kid. This is why he didn't want us to drive him. Chip off the old block. <laughs> there he goes. I suppose it's good that he's so independent. And makes his own choices. Even if they are so... Incorrect. <laughs> Our choices were mostly made for us already. Whatever he chooses, at least it'll be his own decision. We just have to wait patiently for him to come back to us. Until then, it's just the two of us again, huh? Just like old times. Hmm. Octo-chan says, someone explain Long Egg, please. Oh, for fuck, we were unable to offer you our secondary teacher position at this time. However, we encourage you to apply again next year. Oh... Oh, did Kevin reach the university? But I hope so. Uh, Long Egg. Basically, we, uh, I made a video where we looked at um, British party foods like quiche and scotch eggs and stuff. Um, and then also a gala pie, which is it's a pie. It's a brick of pork meat with pastry around it. But there's in every slice, you get a cross section of egg. And there's a machine. It's a long egg machine where they just make long cylindrical eggs. It's fascinating. The long egg machine is wild. Um, just it, I, I would check out that video at some point if you uh, if you like. Um, mm. Titan Uranus has done a super chat saying, "Makes you think how much of what we say comes from us, and how much are we just vessels for other people's words and thoughts?" Well, exactly. Everyone's just a, everyone's made up of just other people's thoughts and words and stuff. And the eccentric lefty says, how do they make long eggs? A long egg machine. I'm not even kidding. There is a special machine to make long eggs. Anyway, did Calvin reach the university? Did he text or call yet? No. But we told him to text or call when he gets there, right? Yes. Well, maybe he hasn't got... Oh, he has. I kept waiting and got worried, so I finally called him. He just said he forgot to inform us and hurried to, and hurried to hang up. Ah, well, it's a big day after all. I'm sure he has a lot going on there. Oh, sure, let your son do as he likes. I'm not going to bother anymore. No! He doesn't want to eat what we make. He doesn't want to speak in Tamil. He doesn't even want the name we gave him. I'm done chasing after him. Dot, dot, dot. Yes, you're right. Oh, wait. He forgot his headphones in his room. I was going to bring it to him sometime next week. But maybe we should just let him pick it up whenever he's here next. Oh, he did? Of course not, Pavlan. We should help if we can. Yeah, that's... He uses those headphones all the time. It'll be hard for him without that. What? Oh, you made that up. Is there anything more fleeting than your anger towards Kevin? <laughs> nice, which says, I have to leave for work soon. I can't believe I'm going to have to go feeling emotionally devastated by this. I'm sorry! I thought it was going to be a lot of cooking. But instead, it's a lot of feeling feelings. <laughs> this game's great, though. That's what being a parent is, I suppose. When Kevin said he wants to pursue writing, I was so happy. Finally, something we have in common. I wanted to show him all the works that inspired me and all the poems and stories that I love. And the ones you wrote, too. All the stories you read to him as a child were just ones you wrote on the spot. Hmm. 
Oh no, Alex Campbell's done a super chat saying, Welcome back, Johnny. The stream is being very loud with the constant job rejections. I have an interview tomorrow and I was already anxious. You're, don't worry, you're going to be absolutely fine. It is, um, this game is a lot, but, you know, you're not, you, you know, you are a different person to the ones being depicted here. Do not worry. I really hope the interview goes well tomorrow. It's, it's perfectly normal to be anxious and I hope you smash it. So best of luck, Alex. And keep us posted. Let, let us know. Yes, but I doubt he even remembers that. I don't even know if he can read Tamil literature, much less understand it. I used to wonder why he wanted to turn his back on all the unique and special things his roots have to offer. But after that night in the park, maybe he's thinking it's better not to be unique or stand out in any way. Ooh. And I don't think we can blame him for that. I guess it wasn't the best decision to move. Oh, I don't get to write here. You don't get to teach here. It's hard for Kevin to be who he really wants to be here. Maybe you should have stayed. If you're going to suggest I would have been better off not moving here with you, my anger is going to be anything but fleeting. Oh. But come on, I know how much you miss home. Wouldn't you be happier back there? If I felt like I didn't have anyone, yes. Maybe I'd be happier there. But I have Kevin. And I have you. Home is where you two are. <laughs> Emma Benton says, God damn it, I don't know where the tissues are in this damned apartment. They're probably in a box somewhere. <laughs> Longing for those who have forsaken you diminishes the beauty of the soul. Fucking hell. Right, it's 2014. That's not a new picture on the wall. Why glasses there? Oh no. No, come on. Um, Dice Dragon Joanna has done a super chat saying time to be both starving and crying at the same time what a delight, keep doing what you do playing games that emotionally devastate us Johnny this is devastating Oof. let's grind David Birch says, I'll play a cooking game. It'll be chilled, they said. I'll feel so relaxed, they said. She just made three things, though. Come on, please. I hope that's done enough. Freya says, can we go back to Dave the Diver next stream, please? Oh, Vivian, uh, Saran, I hope I said your name right, I'm sorry, says, Maruku, I'm crying watching Johnny making Maruku. This game is so intense. Ooh. Um, James Malcolmson has done a super chat saying, best game about family since Children of Morta. Hopefully the final boss fight will be just as compelling. <laughs> I hope so. I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> Is it? Are we just making? Now what we do? Okay. I like that the recipes here are, are foolproof. 
like it's just it said Ara says no shame in crying Johnny no but it does make it hard to talk on screen <laughs> Yeah, these look great. They look amazing. Lot of food there, buddy. Well, we're still going. Slice. Fucking hell. That fish looks delighted about this as well. Cut me! Chris Rakowski's on a super chat saying, It's like someone wanted to make an interactive story, then decided to add some cooking mini games. Yeah, and it's brilliant. Thank you very much for the super chat, Chris. I really enjoy this game. What we got here? Hell yeah! Whatever this is looks amazing. I can't believe I'm holding back tears frying a fish. <laughs> We're still going? Okay, come on. I've... Are we meeting some sort of partner? Of son? Oops. Oh, yeah. Peppercorns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. David Birch, she says, don't worry about crying, it'll see it'll help season everything. Yes, we're getting there. <laughs> oh, I already bought ingredients for dinner. It's not what I want now. <laughs> the cherry tomato and prawn and green. I don't want that now. A122 says, fried chicken? This is an occasion. Exotic Raven says, this is a feast. Yeah, big time. <laughs> Pietro P says, someone asked, what if cooking mama, but devastating? Oh my god. Make the dinner spread. Um. Come on. I 
He's not coming, is he? We're happy to inform your application for the secondary teacher position has been accepted. Well, that's good. Without one's dignity, one becomes a puppet to many strings. He doesn't care. Chris Kendall doesn't care. Chris. Chris. Fuck you, Chris Kendall. Should have sent the wall of text. Yeah. <sighs> Why scroll not work? My mum left me a box of stuff before she left to India. Something cultural and potentially obscure? Mm, Chris doesn't give a shit, does he? I know there's a flashing arrow. I was reading! Okay, if I have to give them a recipe, the least I can do is ensure it's authentic. Ha! <laughs> we got a... We got an achievement for doom scrolling. I can't believe Amma didn't take the recipe book with her when she left to India, though. That's because it's for you. 
Whoa, it looks like she's fixed a lot of these recipes. For you. I can't read Tamil very well, but let's see. Ooh, Idlis. This is Putu. Oh, I remember making this with Ama and Appa. That was fun. Biryani, of course. Appa's favourite. Natu Cozy Kulambo. That's like chicken soup, I think. Oh. She made this for me one time when I was really ill. This is the only thing I could eat without throwing up. I must have been around five then. I still remember the taste, the smell, and the day she made it. There was a phone call from India. The cooker was whistling. Emma fed it to me, but I think she was upset about something. I wonder what it was. Anyways, if I'm going to feature this recipe in the show, I better cook it once at least. Oh, how helpful. She's drawn cute pictures of the ingredients needed. I'll go pick those up first, and then I can start putting it together. Okay. I can't really read this, but thankfully there's a diagram. It looks like I have to mix the tamarind with the water to extract its essence multiple times. Okay. Tamarind. Warm water. Mix. Oh, the water really changed colour. I could have more water directly to this bowl, but that might dilute the extracted water. I need to find a way to separate the extracted water and the tamarind. A sieve! Okay. And then, do we use the same tamarind? Yes. The water isn't really changing colour that much anymore. I think I've gotten everything I can from the tamarind. Let me add it to the other bowl and see. That's as much as I'm going to get, I think. I hope this means the tamarind water is ready. On to the next thing! <laughs> oh, my feelings! Alright, hell yeah, this is great. Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, there's no diagrams in this one. My Tamil isn't the most fluent, so I might not be able to translate this fully. But maybe I can do it step by step. I think I can make out a few of these words. Toast both of the grains first. Nice. Just have to figure out the missing parts. And we can go step by step. Although I don't really see any grains. Did I mistranslate something? Rasam powder, mustard seeds, chilies, salt, garlic and ginger, shallots, tomatoes, curry leaves, cumin. Well, cumin and mustard seeds are both seeds. They're kind of like grains. Ah, it's seeds, not grains. I can't count the number of times I've woken up to this sound, though. How is it already smelling so good? Oh, I can read this part easily. Next, add red leaves and green chilies. But we've got red... We've got red chilies and green leaves. Oh, I must have my words for red and green switched around. Mm-hmm. On to the next step. Add minced and crushed ginger garlic. Garlic and ginger. Add minced shallots and crushed ginger garlic. This smells so good. It's usually around this time Emma has me waving all the steam from the smoke waving away all the steam from the smoke detector. Hmm, what gives out water? Tomatoes. First add tomatoes that creates water, then add water itself. Oh, tomatoes. Frying it seemed to release a lot of water. Then the tamarind water. So that's what the tamarind water's for. No idea what this says, but it's only two ingredients left, so... Add black and black to taste. Rasam powder. And salt. A whole container. <laughs> the smell is really taking me back. 
Emma was upset because of the phone call she got from home. I think I remember now. Oh, bye, no switch. I hope work is okay. And yes, I also hope the end of this game is happy. I'm sorry, Appa. I'm sorry I'm not there. I know. I thought she was getting better. It's almost the end of the month, so I should be able to send you more money soon. No, no, it's okay. Let me at least be of use this way. Oh, no. Oh, hello. Can't read this part either, but there's not much to this. Just put everything in and cook it, I guess. I guess. Bone in chicken. Salt. Let me get the water in first. Okay, water. Turmeric. Yes. Salt. Uh. The sound effects are so good as well. Lid. Cook. I should turn this on after I get everything in. Oh, cooker weight. Yes, that's important. Okay. I should keep going. Oh. Wow, that looks fantastic. Yes, it does. Chicken stock always has a golden color, but the turmeric is making it look extra nice. Oh man, should we even feature this in the show? Some co some corporation is going to start selling an overpriced turmeric chicken stock after watching this. Okay, last step. We just have to mix these together, I suppose. Rassam is usually water, but here it's fresh chicken stock instead. That's really cool, wow. I wonder how Chris will describe this to the team. An exotic take on a chicken soup made from a variety of spices and aromatics. Gross. I like that he's kind of, he's concerned about how this culture is going to be depicted, you know? Fuck, that looks great. Coriander. That looks great, Emma. It said coriander. Before it said cilantro. That's interesting. Hmm. Ah, oh, that looks great, Emma. A lot easier than I thought. Oh, he's thinking of his mum. Let's see if it tastes anything like that day. Oh, we're having a ratatouille moment. Emma. Yeah, uh, yeah, coriander and cilantro are, are the same plant, but I just found it interesting that they used one name and then used the other name. Emma, why are you sad? It's nothing. Yum. Did I do something wrong? Oh no! No, Kenna, not at all. I just, I heard from home. Your grandmother. Emma loves her a lot, but sometimes people have to leave and go far away. And Emma will just miss her. Why is she leaving? It's natural, Kevin. Everyone leaves someday. Us too? It'll happen to everyone. I won't leave you, Emma. Or Appa.
humble porridge can taste sweeter than nectar when fed by the little hands of one's child. These glasses! Yeah, I told you I'm terrible at this. It's easy, Kevin, listen. It's all about temperature control with Dosa. First, pour water on the stone to reduce the heat. Next, set the fire to the low setting. Pour the batter and since the stone isn't hot, you can spread the batter easily. And add oil around the edges and turn up the heat. This will fry the batter and make it easy to flip once the edges are brown. Then it's done, easy, right? Yeah, for you, another disaster coming up. I thought I did everything right. Oh, I need to turn the heat back up. Dang. Okay. Need to turn the heat back up. Spread the batter first. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yeah! Flip time! Oh my god! I did it! Good job. Ready to try something harder? Are you ready to try... Uh, Utapan now. The dosa will be a bit thicker this time so we can lay all the vegetables. Oh, this is like the pizza one, right? With, the, with all the toppings. Yes. Not really, though. <laughs> okay. Okay, now the toppings. Do I have to add all of them? Actually, you can just add whatever you like. Everyone's utapam. Utapam? I'm so sorry. My pronunciation is not good. It's different. Just make sure to add ghee first. Now you tell me twice. Let's see, we've got onions, green chilies, idli powder, and carrots. Ghee. And then we're going to go onion chilies and idli powder. I j don't fancy uh, carrot on mine. Oh, that looks great. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Yum, 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 yum. See, I told you, it's easy. I haven't made this in a while. This was your Appa's favorite. Carry dosa is dosa with minced meat. He loves beef, you know? Yes, exactly. We're doing it with mutton here, but you can do it with chicken, beef, or whatever you like. Okay. just so well made this game like it looks brilliant eh, eh. 
Now we can start adding the curry toppings. Like, oops, up home, you want to add the ghee first, then add the beaten egg as a coating, followed by the actual curry, and finish it with coriander. Okay. Ghee. And then eggs. Then curry. And then coriander. Oh, the heat, the heat, the heat. Nearly. Another one down. Oh my god. Aiden says, it's nice the game isn't forcing you to guess because they're communicating. Yeah, it's nice. This is fun! Yes, it really is. You're doing great, Kevin. You can start your own dozer restaurant when you go back. I know, right? I could probably run the best one. If there were restaurants that can serve dozers like this back there, you wouldn't have missed home so much and left, huh? Oh. Oh, look, the mask is there. Did he bring it back? Because he didn't want it used in the the show? EA122 says, So, Johnny, are you in the mood for South Asian cuisine for dinner? Yes! <laughs> 100%. I came here for more than just doses, Kevin. Oh, yeah, of course. I was just joking. Oh. Okay, well, you start eating these. I'll make the rest and then join you. Oh, no, no, no. I'll do it. Otherwise, they'll get cold before you can eat them. Well, won't they get cold for you, then? Let me do it this one time, at least. Sure, Kevin. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, And Angelic Witch says, Wait, he's speaking in Tamil to her. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? I have something to show you. This is Amma's recipe book. Have you been using it? Wait, I didn't fix some of these. You fix those too? And you wrote in Tamil? This is great, Kevin. Is this all research for that show you're writing? No, Amma. Actually, I quit that job, yes! Oh, why? I... I couldn't write what they wanted. I felt like a fraud. I couldn't write what they wanted. I couldn't write what they wanted. I can't just write about doses, saris, and musicals. Our lives are more messy than that. Yes. And sometimes it's messy. Sometimes it has people like me. I've acted like being Tamil was inconvenient for me my whole life. But now I'm acting Tamil when it is con But now I'm acting Tamil when it is convenient for me? When there's a job on the line? I couldn't deal with it. I had no idea you felt this way. It's true, Emma. I'm just a tourist. And I wasn't there for you after Appa. And every time I wanted to apologize, I just felt too guilty to even face you. You've always said you stayed in Canada for me. I know how much it must have hurt you to come back here. How much I must have hurt you. And Appa. It was so sudden. I always thought there would be time to tell him how much he inspires me. Even this... Even the stories he made up when I was a child and read them to me until I finally slept. My writing can't hold a candle to that. If I'm writing today, it's because of him. I'm still just trying to catch up to him. That's not why I came here, Kevin. He didn't? I 
I came here because that's what's best for me, and even though it hurt me, it's what's best for you. What do you mean? I loved living here. The people, my parents, my job, everything. <laughs> leaving India was necessary, but really hard. I felt bad for leaving, and I missed it so much that I wanted to raise you like we never left here. <laughs> Cookie Cat 94 stunned a super chat saying, remember to hydrate to <laughs> refill the tears. Yeah. It must have been suffocating for you. And after Pavalan. Well, coming back here and teaching all these kids has been great. If I had stayed there, I don't think I could have given you the space you needed. Thanks, Emma. How long are you staying for? I don't know, Emma. But this is nice. Hey, um, five minute break? Five minute break? That was so good. Five minute break. Okay, <laughs> then we'll, we'll play something else. Oh. oh, 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 Vivian um, Sadisaran has done a super chat saying, thank you for playing this game, Johnny. I'm crying together with everyone, but this game is really cathartic. I lost my mum last year, and it was nice thinking of her through this game. This was really well written. Um, I'm so sorry for your loss, um, and yeah, I'm really glad you enjoyed watching that. Uh, what a hell of a game. Good lord. Um, thank you for the super chat as well. And yeah, what what a brilliant what a brilliant game. Um, right, okay. Oh, oh Victoria Tran. Victoria Tran's really nice. Um, five to seven minute break. Let's get some water. Let's um, let's <laughs> get our shit back together. And then we'll play something else. Uh, there's another cooking game that I was I was talking about. Um, uh, we'll try that. Anyway, uh, yeah, five to seven minute break. Back in a bit.
Well, hi everyone. How are we doing? <laughs> Bloody hell. Oh, okay. That was a lot and absolutely incredible. That was brilliant. That what a game. What an incredible game that was. Oh. That was cathartic, but <laughs> the thing is any 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 story about generational trauma and like a child feeling like they're not good enough and then getting that moment where they're like like I'm proud of you or I love you or anything like that it just gets me every time Ratatouille I bore my eyes out every time in that film how to Train Your Dragon, I bawl my eyes out of that film every time. Everything Everywhere All at Once, I bawled my eyes out for the entirety, entirety of that film. And this is... <laughs> oh, they knew what they were doing with Vember, didn't they? Wow. That is absolutely incremable. <sighs> Bloody hell. Absolutely incredible. Christine Govas Roper says, Even the butt plug fight? Especially the butt plug fight, Christine. Oh, okay. All right. So, I was thinking, Oh, the indomitable ex is going next weekend to make hot sauce with my 89-year-old grandma. If she asks why I'm crying, I'll just tell her it's because I'm glad to be there with her. That's bloody lovely. Right, I think we should play The Supper, which I think is a little different. I've never played it, but it's free on Steam, and uh, my partner says I should give it a go, so I'm going <sighs> to... Dr. Brangar says, this game has cannibalism vibes, Johnny. Yup. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. That was a lot. Okay. The supper. Look, we've just got to get we've just got to get back to our roots, haven't we? And it's probably cannibalism, let's face it. Okay. Oh, Monsieur Big Man says it's really been five minutes of in through the nose, out through the mouth for me. Yeah, big time. Oh, Emma Benton says, is this, is this going to be the same level of emotional whiplash as that last episode of Hobbs Barrow? Gosh, I hope so. Also, um, it's been really nice seeing basically my whole Twitter thread just turn into people absolutely loving Carlac from Baldur's Gate 3 because uh, that's a um, friend of the channel, Sam Bayart. Um, they play Carlac. They also play Thomasina Bateman in... Um, in um, in uh, Hobbs Barrow. So, oh, there was a super chat uh, that popped during the break. Oh, a couple of them. Chris Rakowski did a super chat saying, anyone else need to go call their loved ones? Yeah, I'm going to talk to my parents <laughs> after this, I think. Oh, and call me Margus on a super sticker of a crying face. Apt. And then, uh, good luck or a quick death, just super chat. Chatted. And, um... Uh, the, yeah, the, the super chat is, is blank because good luck or a quick death uh, is very generous and um, uh, yeah, uh, says little. Yeah, Karlek, um is, um, is Sam Bayer, yeah. Um, BP Phantom says, what? I knew that voice sounded familiar. Um, Sam's been sending me different Twitch clips of like people doing spit takes when Karlek says something supremely horny, which is very, very funny. Um, yeah, it's good. I... I'm kind of on the fence about playing Baldur's Gate 3 um, because, uh, well, um, ah, yeah, not crying, good. Um, because originally I wasn't going to play it because Mike Merles worked on it and he was obviously the man that a lot of people were calling to have fired from Wizards of the Coast uh, and they moved him off D&D onto Baldur's Gate 3 but it turns out they moved him off it where well, he, he moved to become the creative director of Magic the Gathering like over a year ago uh, and I didn't know that and I've done Magic the Gathering coverage since then including like a sponsored set 
sponsored, like we did a sponsored Ox Venture with a set that I think he worked on. So I'm a bit like, eh, I don't know, I don't know whether or not to play it, like ethically. I would like to support my friend and I would like to play it. I just don't, I just don't like Mike Miles. <laughs> so I don't know, I might, I might pick it up. Um, we'll see, anyway. But, um, um, David Bircher has done a, um, Super Chat say, my grandma got Parkinson's and the last time I saw her I was 14 and I made her some apple sponge puddings which we put in the freezer for her to have. Food really is a language of love. Oh, I think that's that's really lovely. Thank you for sharing that, David. And thank you for the Super Chat. Um, what a lovely memory to have, though. I think that's really, really nice. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, Posky, you're right, there are a lot more people than Mike Mills that have worked on it. Yeah, I think... Um, yeah, I'm, I might I might well pick it up. I don't know, I'd like, maybe I'll stream it. I don't know. I'm not really sure. I'm kind of on the fence about it. And also, at the minute, it feels like everyone's streaming it. So I'm not gonna, but anyway, right. Um, less about that, more about the supper. Let's see what this is like, shall we? Um, this one is also quite short. So, um... <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> My partner made me a whiskey sour. Because <laughs> I was a crying. <sighs> uh, Crinspec Vanda says, I'm confused. What's the issue with Wizards of the Coast? Um, if you, like... It's, it's Mike Miles, specifically. Um, he uh, was not great around the time of the, uh, like, Zach Sabbath um, controversy. So, anyway... Long story, but... Oh, and some water! Thank you! <laughs> Hooray! Um, anyway, you can, you can Google it. Um, oof, dear. Right. Um, Corio Malayam has done a super chat saying, having dinner with my mum and stepdad tonight, and I blame you for any tears I shed. We should just tell your loved ones you love them. <laughs> right. Um, uh, so, yes. Uh, the Supper. A game that I think is going to be very different. It's also very short, apparently. So, um, uh, if we've still got time, we'll do some Dave the Diver or something. Mm. Cookie Cat 94 has done the super chat saying, I never would have gotten into leather work if it wasn't for my mother. She was really bad at cooking steak. <laughs> Big fan. And Orthogonalist has done a super chat saying, Emotional whiplash haiku. Time for some supper. The meat is clearly not sus. Remember the heat. Thank you, Orthogonalus. Right, let's go. Oh, Christ. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> it's a change of pace, isn't it? A bite-sized game by Octavi Navarro. <laughs> Mr. Tom for the wind says, uh. Yeah, that's quite loud, wasn't it? Oh, Christ. Psst, Ms. Appleton. Sorry about their sudden loudness. Hopefully, that's a bit better. Wake up! Oh, <gasps> we've got two peg legs! I'm sorry, Miss Appleton. I know your old bones are tired. <sighs> Coffee Cat says that woke me up. Sorry! <laughs> Things were so much easier before, weren't they? Well, this is creepy. But there's no time to rest. Look at the time. Elizabeth Rakowski has on a super chat saying, Occasionally before pregnant, Chris would just appear at my elbow with whiskey if I was clearly in a frustrating meeting. <laughs> Yes, Chris. Yes, Chris. That's absolutely phenomenal. Um, and good that you've stopped because pregnant. You know, that's good. Uh, Rogue Monitor says, where did you get that water glass? I want it. It was... Oh, no. This is the one that I accidentally put in the dishwasher, so I can't remember. Uh, I got it after seeing uh, Aoife had one. I think it's like Route 17 or something. Anyway, right. Okay. All right. Customers will be arriving any minute now. 
We don't want to keep them waiting with empty bellies, do we? Crinsbeck Van has done a super chat saying no message needed, just support. Thank you very much, Crin. That's really, really lovely. Right. Are these stilts or peg legs? I kind of feel like they're stilts. Embers! Fire tongs. That's good. We've got fire tongs now. Empty pot. Special sauce. Recipes list. Recipes du jour. Pigeon a la sauce rosé. One wild pigeon. Cover with special sauce. <laughs> Chris Rakowski's done a super chat saying, Now I appear with a nice lemonade. Well, that's lovely. Um, spicy red swordfish. One blue swordfish tail. Add one chilli pepper. Cover with special sauce. Hand and tongue stew. One plump human hand. Add one slimy tongue. Cover with special sauce. All right. Matt K. Fry Ghost. Uh, Fry Ghost, sorry. Asks a good question. Aren't all peg legs stilts in a way? Very, very true. <laughs> Meat strips toujours. <laughs> okay. Solid wax. All right. Let's go. Dining room. Need to light candle. Yes, we do. I know. It's dark in here. Some light will make the place much more inviting. Okay. Well, what if we use the fire tongs on the embers? Did I just pocket the embers? Oh, yeah, kind of. Okay. Fire tongs with ember on candle chandelier. lair. Hooray! Well done, Miss Appleton. Now we just have to wait for some starving souls to pass by. This game's crazy. PJ Buck has done a super chat saying to VOD Squad for me. Hi Johnny and LSP is coping with the heat and trying not to melt into a, into a gender fluid. Brackets joke. We envy do crims. <laughs> I enjoyed the joke. Thank you very much, PJ. It's good to see you. And uh, I hope you have a nice time in VOD Squad. Um, try not to cry. You might not manage it. There's the doorbell. Weird. Um... A Titan Uranus has done a super chat saying, If I was cooking a human hand, not that I would, mind you, I would make hand burgers. <laughs> Very good. No time for a walk now, Miss Appleton. I smell fresh clients coming this way. Why don't you go and make sure our special sauce is ready for them? Is Miss Appleton human? Therefore, is it cannibalism? That's what I'm, I want to know. Special sauce. Mmm, smells delicious. Do you hear it, Miss Appleton? Horses. Growling stomachs. Here they come. Oh, bloody hell. Ah, oh, whiskey sour, nice. Do you think it could be them? Oh, solid wax for candles. Oh, I've got some solid wax now. That's good. Hello, hello, look at you all, customers. Why is your beard moving of its own volition? They're hungry. Look, the chest. These are the men we've been looking for. Okay. Let's find them a place to sit, quickly. Okie dokie, I love the shark-faced guy. Wow, wow, wow. So what would the gentlemen like to start with? Deadly shark, old man, and mind mind controlling fungus. Mind controlling fungus wants spicy red swordfish, a personal favourite, a mouth watering delicacy that's healthy as well. Lots of omega three. <laughs> okay. Old man wants pigeon a la sauce rosé, which is our chef's speciality. Barry Wrongleg says, it was Venba when they when I left. What are they playing now? This is The Supper, which is a cooking game, but it's quite tonally different. Deadly Shark wants... Did you hear that, Miss Appleton? Hand and tongue stew. Okay. So that's spicy red sawfish for the mind-controlling beast on the left. A pigeon and a sauce rosé for the sick old man on the right. And a fine hand and tongue stew for the dangerous looking blue shark in the middle. 
Okay. Uh, oh. The noises. Of course, all served with our delicious secret sauce. Come on, Miss Appleton, go and fetch the ingredients. And don't forget to check out the recipes list on the kitchen's wall if you have any problem remembering them. The noises. Wow. So, we need a pigeon! Um, a blue swordfish tail, a chili pepper, a plump human hand, and a slimy tongue. Where can these ingredients be found? Oops. Resume. Swordfish tail. We need that. We need a knife, probably. Is there a knife? Empty water jug. We'll have that. Be patient, Miss Appleton. Be patient. I need a knife. Oof, dear. Uh, the noises. You're all right. Yeah, it, like, you're correct, you lot. It does sound like Animal Crossing, doesn't it? Swordfish tail, recipes list, special sauce. We like the special sauce. Swordfish tail. Yes, it's there. How do we get it? How do we get it? Let's see. Do any of you have a knife? Yes, I know what you want. Yes, yes, yes. Right, where do we get the ingredients? It's not outside. Oh, it is. It is outside. Okay, great. There's a lever. We don't want to pull the lever, apparently. There's the jail door. Nope, we're not sure about the jail door. <gasps> a pigeon! A pigeon! A pigeon! We need the pigeon. Come here, pigeon. We need something to entice the pigeon. I hope you're not thinking I'm climbing up there. Why not? We want the pigeon. Defect says, is this a French or not game? Uh, yes, please. Um, please don't uh, offer me solutions unless I ask for them in a French accent. Poor old Pete. I always knew he'd lose his head sooner or later. Damn. Well, Pete, do you have a knife? A wet boot. Thank you. Rope bladder. Damn. Rope. No. This game is strange. Orthogonalist says, jail. I think that's where we store our hands and tongues. Yes, indeed, I agree. Okay, maybe we can throw the wet boot at the pigeon. Sorry. Ugh. <laughs> we can! Now come here. Yes, great. We've got a pigeon. That's the main ingredient for our pigeon supreme a la rose. Sorry, so, yeah, Pigeon Supreme Allo Sauce Rose. And now let's finish the dish. Alright. Hello! Just. Just. Don't mind me. Just, uh. Smashing a pigeon. With a shoe. Why wouldn't we put the pigeon. Oh, okay. Way! Ding! Well done, Miss Appleton. The pigeon a la sauce rosé is ready to be served. Oh, it's like a Wagamama situation where everything just comes out as it's ready. Understood. Now, which one was it? The old man wanted that, didn't he? I want pigeon a la sauce rosé. <laughs> well, you're in luck. Yum, yum, yum. Bon appétit, monsieur. <gasps> he dies! You can tell by his pale face that he really enjoyed his last supper. 
Don't worry, they are used to pass out in taverns. They won't notice he stopped breathing. Well, we'll have the rusty scissors, please. Can we cut his hand off and his tongue out? No, it probably seems seems rude, doesn't it? Okie dokie. Well, we can use the rusty scissors on the swordfish tail, can't we? Are you kidding me, Miss Appleton? You'll never cut anything with those rusty scissors. All right, fine. Fucking hell, this is trying to... Trying to help. Cara Denison says, I too am used to pass out in taverns. It's a common thing. Sometimes pass out in taverns, you know. Okay. Uh, Carla, I have hidden your comment, uh, deleted your comment solely because, uh, spoilers, not everyone might be caught up yet. Um, I hope that's okay. Apologies. Uh, but it's still quite early doors. Captain's Cabin. Well, well, well. Hmm, I think I know this guy. Let me taste his blood. What? Well, we'll have the butcher knife. Sip. Oh. oh, yes, indeed. Captain Clint McMurray, my sister's second husband. <laughs> Titan Uranus says, can we see his feet? No. Looks like you won't be beating anyone up ever again, Clint. Fuck. Okay. What the fuck was that? Oh, we look, we saw our bum, look. Ooh. Seedling. The seedling that's completely parched. We'll need to find it a nice drink. Alright, well, we've got an empty water jug in a puddle. There we go. Full water jug. Baddy wrong legs says never go full bismuth. <laughs> Chili pepper. We got a knife, so we can cut the um, cut the swordfish tail off. So we've got everything we need to make the swordfish stew. Can we butcher knife there? No. Okay. Well, look, look at it this way, everyone. We're not crying, so that's nice. Oh, there's a cherry in this. Yum, 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 yum. Some guy on YouTube says, Johnny, I have a Nate poem for you, but it may be a bit spoiler for episode two. How long shall I wait to post it? A few weeks, I reckon. Sorry. But, uh... How long's that swordfish been there? That's what I want to know. Swordfish tail. Special sauce. Wait, wait, wait. The special sauce should be added at the end, Miss Appleton. Just follow the recipe. Okay. Perfect. Those are the main ingredients. Now let's finish the dish. Spicy blue swordfish. Special sauce. Pietro P says, Johnny, did you ever go back to Pentamon? I didn't. Um, I kind of ruined it for myself by streaming it because I had to read everything out. And there's so much talking that I kind of got fed up. So... <sighs> Ooh, Mr. Tom for the Win says, I've got another free and very short point and click adventure that you'd like, Johnny. Made by George Broussard, one of Duke Nukem's creators. It's nothing like Duke Nukem, though, hee hee. What is it, please? BP Phantom says, This was my first exposure to Octavius games. I've played since played the others and have the next one wishlisted. I've never played one of his before, and I like them. Right. <clears throat> well then, Ms. Everton, our spicy red swordfish is ready to be served. Chris Rakowski says, do we think the special sauce is just strychnine? It, it might well be. All right, mind-controlling fungus, here's your dinner. Bon appétit. <gasps> oh, that was weird. Uh-oh. Died. A tongue, a tongue, and some keys. 
Oh yes, a satisfied stomach. This delicatessen is a pleasure worth dying for. Fucking hell. Haha, do you get it, Mrs. App Ms. Appleton? It's funny. Come on, laugh! Well, we're going to take the, the slimy tongue, and we're going to take the jailer keys. Cheerful Spiders on a Super Chat saying, Talking of Deadlands, how incredible is Andy? Anna's a first-time GM. So much admiration for him. He is absolutely stupendous. Like, he'd never even done a session zero or a practice session or anything. He just went in and started DMing on camera as his first ever thing. And he's a tremendous marshal. He's fucking brilliant. It's called The Third Wish. Thanks, Mr. Tom, for the win. I'm going to copy that. Uh, James Malcolmson has done a super chat saying, When is Guybrush th showing up? I suspect he's already in the source. That's what I suspect. Right, jailer keys, jail door. Oh, look, a skeleton hand. Well, that's not a plump hand. We need a normal... We need a nice... We need nice hands. We need a plump hand. Okay, we've got... To, ah, skeleton hand can use lever? No, not slimy tongue. Okay. Anything else we could get from here? Ah. Oh, no. I thought maybe we could just make a plump hand out of wax and bones, but no. Can we have his hand as well? No, we can't get back in the captain's cabin. Okay. Near. Shaswell Charmer says, is this Vember? No, it isn't Vember. We finished Vember. We had a very good cry. And now we're playing The Supper. Um, which is a very different game. I would I would urge you, Shaswell, to, to go and watch from the start of this stream because Vember is a game not to be missed. It is tremendous. He's not hungry. <laughs> No, he's dead. Okay. Well. Oh, I'm a bit confused. Right, recipes list. One plump human hand. Add one slimy tongue. Cover with special sauce. Plump human hand. What? The swordfish tail is back. That shouldn't be the case. Okay. I just want your plump human hands, please. He's not... I know he's not hungry. He's dead. Um, uh, so... Does anybody uh, have an idea of how we can find a plump human hand? I'm asking in a French accent, because I actually want to know. Let's pull the lever. Why don't you want to pull the lever? Wax on lever? Maybe. Nope. Maybe melt the wax, says Kira Cox. Alright, yeah. Give it a go. Yes, alright. Well, that's working. We've got boiling wax. Oh my god, that is what we're doing. Wax hand. Perfect, those are the main ingredients. Now let's finish the dish. Wet <laughs> Wax hand and tongue. Special sauce. Well done, Miss Appleton. The hand and tongue stew is ready to be served. Go on, Deadly Shark. Bon appétit, my cartilaginous friend. <laughs> mm. Oh. Mm. Hmm. Ah. Another satisfied customer. 
Such a tasty delicacy can't help but defeat even the most discerning of stomachs. Well done, Miss Appleton. The service was impeccable. I don't think our customers have any complaints. Do they? Great. Now let's clean all this mess before the stench gets the attention of, all of the authorities. Okay. And what about the chest? Be patient, Miss Appleton. Be patient. Fuck's sake. He's not hungry. I know he's not hungry. He's not hungry. He's not... Ah. Okay. I could do with uh, that knife again, I guess. I mean, they're going in the special sauce, right? Is that the idea? Hmm. I'm just one elderly... green woman on st... Oh! Well, I think I know what the lever's for now. No, no I don't. I was like, oh, it's the secret lever to just bundle them into the basement. Wooden cart? We like the wooden cart. Great idea, Miss Appleton. This will be useful to carry the bodies out. dum de doom Ten fathoms deep on the road to hell. Yo-ho-ho ho, and the bottle of... Oh, here you are. Ah. Lever. We've never used the grinder with such large specimens. Gross. Um, Kate has done a super chat saying, Johnny, any chance you will be on the Ox Venture podcast? We'd love to hear more from you on the episode so far. Um, I'm on it occasionally. I haven't been on it in a while. Um, because it's kind of just something they, they turn out in the week and, um, it's easier to not have to consult me to get me involved, but maybe we'll see. We shall see. Um, but never say never, basically. Right. We've never used the grinder with such large specimens. Let's hope their bones don't get stuck. Well, one of them is just cartilage, so, you know. Fucking hell. There you go. Well done, Miss Appleton. You performed diligently. A ghost? Oh. That's what's in the chest. Thank you, Miss Appleton. I appreciate all you've done for me. At last, I'm allowed to rest, and so are you. Oh, I have so many good memories of you and I working side by side. You are my dearest friend. <laughs> Jukebox345 says, Are we about to be somehow Venbert again? <laughs> I think so. When those beasts dragged me out from the kitchen, <gasps> I knew I was done for. Oh, they were peg legs. My legs! I swear I didn't steal that gold nugget from them. I won it fair and square. Oh! While I was anguishing, suffocating inside this chest they put me in, there was only, thing, only one thing I knew for certain. Oh! You wouldn't rest until you found me, dead or alive. I'm deeply sorry you had to lose your own sanity along the way. Clunk, but okay. Please, find a quiet place to bury my bones near the old well where I like to spend time. It's time for me to leave, Miss Appleton. Sweet dreams, my dear friend. And goodbye. Oh. Well, 
Titan Uranus says, speaking of blood, any plans on playing Iron Lung? I don't know. Uh, let's have a look. Let's Google it. Um, well, I didn't expect that game to also be quite sad. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Iron Lung looks, looks fun. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. I haven't played a, um, a horror game in a long time. Um, well, bloody hell. The pigeon? Thank you for playing. Oh, you're welcome, pigeon. Right. If you enjoy this little game, please consider supporting the developer. So we can keep creating games. You can do so by buying the PDF art book DLC. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you, little pigeon. Right. I know it's kind of early, but I think that's going to have to do it for today's stream. Because... Oh, Pietro P says it might be time to hate on our favourite sushi bar owner. Maybe. Mm, no, I do want to play more Dave the Diver. Let's do Dave the Diver on Thursday. But for now, that was a lot. That was a lot of emotional whiplash. Uh, and let's all just have a nice evening. Serenity Moon 1976 says, go call your parents and have another whiskey sour. Fair. Fair. Yeah, bloody hell. Yeah, I'm. well, I'm going to go cook dinner. Because food is a love language. Well, food is a language. And you can say I love you with food. You can also say fuck you with food, I guess. Depending on what you're cooking. Anyway, that was a lot. That was a lot, that stream. And I had a great time. It's nice to be back. Thank you all for watching. Um, I'll be back on Thursday. And then there'll be fresh episodes of Preston Kiadini on Saturday. And um, yeah, uh, that's sort of about it from me. I do have a Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Johnny Kiadini. Um, there's a link in the description of this video. Uh, if you can support me directly through that, that would be great. But um, honestly, thank you so much for watching and chatting and super chatting and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, go be go be kind to yourselves because today, how about that? That was an intense stream. Coffee Cat says, salt your food with tears, everyone. There you go. Thanks again, everyone. <laughs> oh, let's all yeah, let's all go recover and be nice to ourselves. Take care.